Greetings on this hot Nairobi afternoon. Raila Odinga has jetted back into the country after a couple of days in India and I think somewhere else. I have seen images of Raila Odinga and his utter caught my attention. I look at the communist shirt he was wearing, what we used to call Mao Zedong coat or shirt, whatever it's called. I hear his, he became Mao Zedong, that colorless half coat or half shirt, short sleeve shirt, with a blue cape. Azimio, the fifth. And I thought this was telling a story. It was actually shouting. And I wondered, is Raila up to something? And as a patriot, a man who loves his country, I thought, should Ruto get concerned? My mind went back to Mombasa. I was present when Raila came to a hotel where I was staying to address a luncheon hosted by Mombasa governor Nasil after his swearing in. The words that Raila said and the demeanor, the body language, reminded me earlier on after Ruto had been declared victor, the Raila I saw at the KCC. I don't know whether I was the only one seeing. It was the Raila of the trenches. For those who may have forgotten, Raila was revolutionary, socialist, a man who threw scare into the people, especially the Western people. Raila then took time to groom himself, to change the image of a revolutionary into a gentleman, a businessman, donning suits, Western suits. But after this election, the Raila I'm beginning to see is the revolutionary Raila. And for that reason, I ask myself whether William Ruto should be worried. Remember, I've said something. I've said, henceforth, going forward, a politician who sees elections in terms of five years will be in for, may be in for a root shock. We are entering a phase in our elections, a phase in our elect political life as a country, where it will not be strange for a president to vacate office midstream. It may not be as extreme as parliamentary democracies. Remember only the other day, this chap whose father grew up in Kitale became prime minister. What we may wish to know is that he was the third prime minister in seven weeks. That in seven short weeks, the UK has had three prime ministers. Italy, Japan, these things happen. We may not go in that direction, but I suspect, given the way the world is moving today, that we are going to witness situations where presidents leave office midstream in democratic moves. Nothing undemocratic. So should Ruto be worried? Let me share my thoughts on this. But before I do so, I have an outfit through which I reach to you, through my YouTube channel. I've been trying to grow it. A team of young men ha has been around, and now we have some one or two ladies, young ladies. I'm happy with the progress I've made. 
Indeed, those who come to me on internship, especially sent by the media council, will go back and have gone back with a good record. Because of this, I'm extending my hand of help to any young people who want to be, to be assisted to be YouTubers, because that's where the world is going. If you want to appear on YouTube and you're a especially young person, you want to be assisted to be shown the ropes. How does it go? How do you start? How do you get to, to, be, to, be, to be viewed by people across the world? And if you are lucky, how do you get monetized? You may be even like to make money. It's not easy. So we show you the ropes. We can even produce you. I know one of the most discouraging things, and I went through this, was to produce a video. Somebody is asking for 40, 30,000 shillings, and you are a beginner. Where will you get that kind of money? So I offer you, as a young person, the house. How do you become a YouTuber? How do you go about it? And I can even produce you. It is not business. We may ask you to offset our costs. Nothing expensive. So if you are a parent, you see your daughter is interested in, in shooting, in becoming a YouTuber, and the quality of what she's doing is not good because she's doing by phone, you can come, we will train her, and we can also produce her until she's able to stand on her feet. Thank you. And again, before I go back to the topic, please do subscribe to this channel because it, it is through your support that we've been able to reach where we have reached and we want to travel further together with you. Share and subscribe. Now back to Raila back in the country. Dress in a cape that still says Raila the fifth with a flag of Kenya. Should Ruto be worried? Indeed, I think Ruto should be worried. My son and I were discussing how to score William Ruto so far. I was a little rougher. He was softer. Let, no, let me not parade our grades. But I pointed out there are two things that deny William Ruto max if you want to score him right now. And they are related. And both are related to the story of Raila Odinga. And both can be the cause of trouble for him. Especially with the revolution of Raila around. One. President William Ruto is playing around with the issue of cost of living. Even when you, when you see even developed democracies, big countries, rich countries like the UK, people demonstrating in the streets because of the cost of living, is not something you want to play around with. No. It's not something you want to tell people, give me a year. The price of hunger. You don't tell people, give me a year. So I think the president doesn't seem to understand the gravity of that matter. He doesn't seem to understand. Hunger, maize flour, the main meal of the people of this country. It would appear to me, and I think to many people, President Ruto does not seem to understand the dangers inherent in the price of Unga going up. He doesn't seem to understand. When you casually ask for a year and do so in a manner that doesn't show you understand, you say those guys destroyed these things. They, in four years, they were able to bring the price of maize flour where it is. Me, I only need a year to change. My friend, this is difficult. Because a hungry man is an angry man. Why do I say this? I've been to Kital in the recent past. During, never has it been the case that during harvest season, the price of maize doesn't go down. Never. It has never happened like that. Today, the price of maize in Kitale is over 5,000 shillings. Ordinarily, the price of maize should be 3,000. 
2,000 farmers would be crying and asking the government through the NCPB, National Cereal and Produce Board, who would be buying strategic reserve to give them a good price. Have you had any farmer complaining about price? Harvesting period. What does that tell you? It tells you, one, the price of maize and maize flour is unlikely to go lower than it is now. In, if anything, it will go up. It tells you that you need only a small problem somewhere. A small problem somewhere in the chain. And the price sharp. So the president must be reminded. And it will come from those who love this country and who want him to succeed. That imagine a situation because the way things are now, I would not be surprised if maize flour, if Unga got to 300. I want the president and his men to imagine a situation of Unga in Mifika 300. Just imagine that situation. If Unga is 230 or thereabouts now, during harvest time, is it unimaginable that it will get to 250, 300 in three, four months? It's not. Petrol. The price of fuel went up after Huru left because the president said no subsidies, both on Unga and on Mafuta. I can say without any doubt, but I could be wrong, that this is because of IMF. The president must have promised IMF he will do their bidding. So, you remove the subsidy and fuel went up by 20 shillings. Let me tell you the danger. We do not have control over international crude oil prices. Supposing, supposing crude oil prices went up so that petrol moves from the current 180 or thereabouts, 178, to 250 with the UNGA 300. Now tell me how you can survive in State House. Just tell me, Mr. President. Now with the revolution on Raila, saying he's going to issue a program, and we don't know what that is, I would advise Raila to give Ruto time to deliver to the people of Kenya. That would be my advice. Please, Raila Odinga, give, Raila, give William Ruto time to deliver to the people of Kenya. But I don't have control over Raila, number one. Number two, even if Raila gave Ruto time, hungry people would not give Ruto time. Do you have content that you'd like produced or an event that needs video and audio coverage? You did not struggle looking for a production company. Nairobi Review offers you the best quality and affordable coverage of conferences, weddings, funeral, birthday parties, or any other event. Call or email us now. Nairobi Review. Quality is our utmost priority. The next thing why Ruto should be worried with Raila round the corner, donning that cap. The revolutionary Raila, the Tinga, the really Tinga around. With the ability to harass Moi. People who could harass Moi are not people you want to play around with. When they're around you, my friend. No. <laughs> you may not be as tough as Moi. And the times have changed. The things that Moi did, you can't do them. Because times have changed. The world is different. Something else that worries me. The president and his team don't seem to understand this thing I've repeated, that a serious number of Kenyans in their millions are hurting inside. They are unhappy with this election. Rightly or wrongly, millions of Kenyans believe this election was stolen.
And yet, what do we see? We see a president, a deputy president, and his people who continue to rub salt in the wound of those Kenyans. Of Kenyans who have not switched on their TVs for some times now. Wale ambao tulishindana na wao, watulize boli, waliharibu inchi yetu, watupatie na fasi, tuifanyie ukarabati na tuipange iweze kwenda mbele. So our competitors must know that we have a different approach. Them they are subsidizing consumption as we are going to invest in production. It is a world of a difference. And we are going to teach them agricultural economics. Tumevunja ile ilikuwa inaitwa special sijui nini ya police ambayo ilikuwa inaua wa Kenya kiholela. That is the history we want to forget. Let our competitors not remind us of the many things they did against this country. This morning, I was talking to an old man. He had told me he would relocate back to Kenya. He has been there, he has grandchildren in America. He wanted to retire back in Kenya. If Raila won. This morning he called me to tell me, Manyora, I'm sorry. I'm even selling my parcel of land in Ikiambu. You can come and buy it. There are people who are hurting in this country. Sometimes back I met a retired engineer. Incidentally, a Luo in Kitale. He just he went down on his sofa and told Manyora, I will die before I see Raila becoming president. There are people who are hurting in this country. And yet I see the president and his men, especially my friend Gashagwa. How at Wakuzimia? What was it in the Willy? Where was there, Kuzimia? Unaogea Kuzimia. Na hiyo ni okasi yako ya kukosoa sisi. Kama ulifanya hiyo kasi ya kukosoa serikali ya huu kinyata, hatuke vika hapa tuko. You are burdened, you are duted to oversight government. Serikali ikaporwa na wewe na watu yako mkaingia kwa ubranch. Sisi ya tuna shida na mwishimu wa kalonzo. Tuna mungoja. Nyinyi diyo mutamua what you want with him. Because we don't understand him. We don't. Ukweli ni kwamba tulimutafuta. Tukimutafuta kuja kwetu, anarudi kwa hida muzea kuzimia. Ata siku wa meaibishwa, sisi diyo tulikuwa tuna mutatea. Mulisikia liki mutatea? Anaitua interview. Anaulizwa tijina yako ni nani? Lete kitabulisho. Bibi yako anaitua nani? Ulibatishwa mwaka gani? Kwa hako ni wapi? Haka angaishwa, lakini ya toki huko. Sasa atuelewi. Si wili ya mtuto diyo raisi wa Kenya? Sasa atuelewi uraisi wetu kwa sababu mimi ni mkristo. Lazima ni muambie ukweli. Ama nisi muambie? Mimi kalibu tukosana na ee juyenu. Sasa anagawa serikali, akukura hapa ni kidogo, hamebatia foreign affairs. Hamechukua, hamebatia penina. Hamechukua, hamebatia. Nekamuliza, hii watu na kuna kura walete, boro napatia kila kitu. So there are two problems that you must handle and the urgency to handle those problems becomes even greater because of the new Raila I'm seeing. You can write him off, you can ignore him, but the moment he will choose to cause trouble, my friend, you will wish you listen to Manyora. Two problems. One, sort out the cost of living. Go out of your, don't listen to IMF. IMF are never there when a country is going down. IMF is never there when things are happening somewhere like Sri Lanka or anywhere, Argentina, where, Greece. They are never there. They create the mess. They let you handle your mess. When the boy says something hits the pan. They leave. You handle the trouble yourself. The cost of fuel can come down. Through government hand. It doesn't have to be subsidies. I agree with the president. 
subsidies are for con men, for enriching a few people. We saw it during the Golden Bug uh, scandal. But bring down the price of fuel by removing certain levies. We are all aware almost 50% of the price of petrol goes to the government. Reduce some of those. Begin by removing 8% VAT. How much do you raise from that? Bring down the price of fuel by about 30 shillings or so or 40. Then, if something happens, if you bring the maize flour down, you bring the price of mafuta down. If situations become so bad, the citizens will be with you because they will understand. The president has tried his best. But the international crude oil has gone amok. The dollar has become mad. It has run out of control. There's nothing the president can do. So you have the citizens with you on your side. So that when things go bad, they can stay with you. But if you toss them into the deep sea, that give me a year, and then things happen, one thing leads to another. You begin panic measures. Any measure you take then will be too little, too late. Read about the French Revolution. The king had ignored, kings had ignored, King Louis ignored. But when he saw things were running out of control, looking at those cahiers, he began to give, to make concessions, concession after the concession. At that time, the people will never be happy with anything you give them. And with Raila here, donning that cap, the revolution of Raila back, my advice to President William Ruto is very simple. Ogopa. Fear Raila Odinga. You cannot be a match to Raila if he chooses to give you trouble. And the citizens of this country, including me, would want you to succeed. And we will support you. Even if it means offending some of our friends, we will help you to succeed. But you must help yourself to succeed. Do something about the cost of living in this country, Mr. President. Then this country will move forward. If things become tougher, we will be with you. We will tighten our belts. But you must show us now that you are with us. You meant every word you said during the campaign. That you will ease the price of unga, the price of petrol. The cost of living would go down within 100 days. Please. Keep your word. Keep your word. But if you are not convinced, look beyond, look behind you. Look behind you. Look over your shoulder. Tinga is behind you. And it's not the Tinga you have known in the past 20 years. This is the Raila of the trenches. We want you to succeed, Mr. President.